It's day 114 of the 100 pound, 365 day body transformation. It is free day today. I am so excited. Me and the big guy, we're gonna have some treats today. Let's go. Welcome everybody to day 114. I'm so thankful you're here. I'm thankful to be here. If you're anything like me, the diet always starts tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow somewhere. And this is the channel where we're bringing you on a daily to show you exactly what we're doing to lose 100 pounds over 365 days. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. It's time for wait for the day. Well, I went in, I weighed in this morning, and you know, we've been like losing, losing, and then we were gaining a little bit, and I haven't known whether I was gonna actually take the day off today, and I decided I was going to, because I didn't want to mess up my momentum or anything. Well, today I got on the scale and I lost 0.3 pounds. So I was so excited about it. My weight now is 228.4 pounds. My total weight loss is back over 60. So I'm at 60.1 pounds in the 114 days so far. I'm so excited about that. We are on day 24 of our current 30 day challenge. I'm so excited to report. We had a goal of 11 pounds. We just hit 11.2 pounds off on this current challenge. So I'm so psyched. We don't have any more to go on our current goal. And our first goal in this period was 5.62 pounds. We kept raising it as we've gone. We're at 11 now and we just smashed that out of the park. So I'm really excited about that. I've just been doing what I can do and controlling that and the weight loss does what it's going to do. We have a new goal, which you know I love setting. Our new goal is 11.5 pounds. So we're coming up on the end of this. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but 11.5 is our new goal. And I'm totally excited to try and get that done. I'm really nervous though, because we're taking this free day. And so I'm not sure how things are going to work. And I'm like totally freaking out about it because I don't want to mess anything up but I think it's really important to sort of see what happens on a free day like can you take a free day and move back into keto quickly and have everything be okay I'm not sure and I'm totally nervous about it to be honest with you I don't want to mess anything up because things are going well and it's just fun so we'll see how it goes anyways that's where we're at on the fasting front I was stuck to my two-hour eating window yesterday it just it's not even an issue I have been feeling a little bit more hunger but I cut back my caffeine a little bit because I was feeling some heart palpitations and stuff and caffeine does that to me. So I backed down my caffeine a little bit. I think that maybe that has something to do with the feeling of hunger. I'm not sure, but the great news is on keto, it is so manageable. Like it's not like crazy hunger. It's like manageable hunger. And it's not all the time either. I feel it once in a while, but not all the time. So it's awesome. On the training front, we are literally totally on track. If you ask me for the 5k, I'm excited. We're, we're doing what we need to do for that. My hip feels like a million bucks. It doesn't hurt anymore at all. So everything we've done to sort of fix that issue, apparently has worked so far. Our challenge of 1.75 miles will get done and I'm totally looking forward to it actually. I can't wait to do it this week. So that's where we're at. Our challenges this week, as you know, are for me to take a free day, which is today. I'm looking forward to that. And then also we have tomorrow, which is gonna be the two day fast. And so I think it'll probably end up being about 36 hours. I'm gonna try to go 48, but I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm nervous about that too. I mean, you know, it's like, I am not sure how it's gonna go, if it's gonna be okay or not. So we'll see. That's our challenges. We're on track with those and also like subscribe ring that bell during the day today I'm gonna to be checking in so I'm gonna do a check-in later today show you what I'm eating and things and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna do a check-in first thing and tell you how I'm feeling so we'll see I anticipate I'm gonna feel great but who knows in just a second I'm gonna be popping back in when our meal is ready and everything's good I'm so excited I'm gonna have prime rib I'm gonna have a twice baked potato I'm gonna have my favorite salad I'm gonna I've made a mud pie with Kahlua and coffee ice cream that was homemade that I made in my ice cream machine and I I am just so excited to have all this stuff I've been trying. And then I'm gonna have Christmas candy because we make, my mom makes great Christmas candy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have some of that. It'll be like almond roca and fudge and all that good stuff. That's what I'm gonna be having today. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want and I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'm also thinking, oh, we're gonna have garlic bread. Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait. So anyways, I'll check back in in a minute. You'll see, I'll show you a picture of it. And then, cause I'm cooking with all this stuff with my wife and my son. And so we're just gonna have a blast cooking today and then doing that. Oh, we're gonna have the best horseradish crusted prime rib. Oh, I'm so excited about it. So anyways, I'll check back in in just a minute, show you that. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to check back in. And so that'll be after I show you what I'm eating and stuff. Then I'll check back in tomorrow morning, tell you how I'm feeling. So we'll see you twice here in a second. After 124 days of fasting and keto, today I'm taking a break. I'm going to have dinner with my family. I'm going to have a beautiful crusted prime rib, twice baked potato. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Look at this bread, this loaf of bread. Oh, I can't wait. And my mom's famous 
candied walnut salad. I cannot wait to eat you guys. We've been cooking all day and I made some homemade ice cream. That is a coffee and Kahlua ice cream and I made a mud pie out of it. So I'm gonna be having that tonight. I'll show you my pie in just a little bit, but I can't wait and I can't wait to see what happens when I take this day off and I will be right back on schedule tomorrow, fasting, one meal, all the same stuff. But today I'm gonna eat like a king. All right, I did my best. <laughs> Here was what I had. I had some bread. I don't have any more of that left. I definitely doubt that. That was the best bread I think I ever had. But I ate most of my twice baked potato. I ate quite a bit of my primary, but I could not do it. And I ate most of my salad, which was fantastic. I definitely ate the candied uh, walnuts that were in there. But I am totally stuffed. And the great thing is I don't feel like eating more. Right now I'm gonna have dessert. I'm gonna have that mud pie that I made, but I don't feel like eating anymore. And I stopped when I didn't feel like eating. And I'm telling you that's very odd because there was a time when I would just keep eating. So there we have it. And and I'll check back in with you after dessert. I made a homemade mud pie, which is a Oreo cookie crust with Kahlua coffee ice cream and homemade whipped cream on top of it. And it's all supposed to be frozen like a pie, but it has not set yet. So I'm gonna put mine back in the freezer for a little while. And then I'm hoping it'll freeze up a little bit and I'll be having some, but this one I'm gonna end my meal with today. And I don't think I'm probably gonna eat much more. It's the day after, it's already like nine o'clock in the morning. I feel terrible, I feel sick, I wanna barf. I just am feeling awful. Like, you know when you don't really sleep, but you're like sort of awake and asleep? Like my stomach was like, felt so bad last night that for a lot of the time, I just felt like I was still awake when I was sleeping because my snot, I was just like, ugh. And right now I feel so freaking gross. I feel so terrible. I just want to, seriously, what I want to do is vomit, but I, you know, at the same time, nobody wants to vomit. I'm trying not to, but I just feel like garbage. Yesterday was interesting because I, please, whatever you do, stop. Thank you, baby. Doy. Last night, you saw how much of my dinner I ate because I just couldn't eat it. And then I had made that glue and cream pie. And usually, like, I love that. And the thought of it just makes me want to vomit. And then I was like, wow, this is really weird. So I didn't even eat all that. I had some Christmas candy I didn't eat all that like it's just like I was eating a little bit and I was able to stop and not continue but the problem is that I obviously ate too much because I am so sick and then that's the other thing I thought about today is usually you know like I realized I said this to my wife this morning I think antacids a person like me that was in a rut that would continuously eat because they were addicted to carbs and sugar and it just makes them want to like antacids are your best friend because it allows you to overeat like you know like when I was growing up people would say oh don't eat too much of that or you'll get a tummy ache well, with antacids, like the stomach ache's gone and the party started, right? It never ends. So like this morning, I really think I would have felt much better if I would have taken some antacids, but I'm not gonna take them because I want myself to feel like this. I want myself to reap what I sowed yesterday and realize that this is what my body feels like when I eat like that. Also, when I ate the sugar yesterday, like I'm addicted to sugar. Like, it's just so alluring to eat that. I felt a little buzz from it yesterday. And I really think that sugar has to be in my past. Like, I don't think I can do that long term and, and stay thin. I just think there's some danger there. It wasn't like it, I was on 10, like before I started this adventure, but I, I could feel out of everything I ate that had more allure than the other. And I could stop it yesterday and I was good with it. And I did, like I said, but I still overate everything. So anyways, it was, I think really helpful. It was sort of eye-opening. I think if I stay off the antacids, it, really is a good lesson because I really am reaping what I said yesterday. I feel so sick, you guys. Like you just have no idea how gross I feel right now. And I'm just gonna get back on it. And I'm, I'm back, like I said yesterday, I'm back. I'm, I haven't had my coffee yet, but I'm gonna have that in a minute. Just have that black, I'm back on a fast. I don't feel like eating today. I feel so sick and gross. I just wanna get back in keto and eat clean and move on. So anyways, that's my update from yesterday. Would I do it again? I wouldn't do it again because it was so pleasurable. If I did it again, it would be to realize what I'm realizing now, which is that it was stupid. Eating like that and doing that kind of stuff is just like, it's not something that I want to do. I did not enjoy it. It's just gross, really. It did it. I feel terrible now. I guess I would do it, and I certainly would do it so that I could share it with everybody, because maybe somebody could see me do this and not have to do it themselves. Hopefully that's helpful to somebody. Right, so you've seen what I ate. You saw how I felt the morning after. I appreciate you being here. Check out these before and after pictures. The first one is me on day one. I look and feel like I might croak at any second. 
the next one is this morning's picture and I see a massive difference. If you see any difference or don't see any, let me know in the comments. I would totally appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We'd totally appreciate that. And also have a great day, you guys. We hope that your day is blessed and wonderful and we'll see you tomorrow.